Hello, so I was assigned the parabola for the conic sections project, and I chose to do the Eiffel Tower. As you can see, there's a little parabola down here, the arc of the tower. So what I did first was um, I found the dimensions of the Eiffel Tower. Um, they came in meters, but I um, converted them to inches at the end. So I'm just going to blow this up a little bit. So unfortunately, when I looked this up originally, there was no direct length from the bottom of the ground to the top of the arc. So I had to do a little bit of estimation. Um, I, we did know that the length from the, the ground to the first stage was 2,360 inches after being converted. So what I did was just kind of hashed it off and then drew a line across and came up with 1,575 inches for the top of the arc. And then um, the... Dimensions also gave us this length here from this inside to this inside and that came out to be 3,000 inches so Now we're gonna get into more the math part of it So I already hashed this graph off um, I'm gonna blow it up a little bit it's kind of blurry, but as you can see on the right-hand side, we need to find the vertex, the focus, um, the directress, the domain, and the range. So I thought about this problem for a long time, and it didn't really work out until um, I had to come up with a directrix. I looked at a lot of examples from my homework, and most of the time um, there were two two things given to us. So let's just um, say that the directrix is y equals 1650. So that'll make things a lot easier. So the equation for a parabola is y equals, I'm going to make this smaller. So the equation of the parabola is y equals 1 over 4c times x minus h squared plus k. So we know that the vertex equals um, hk. And we also know that our vertex is going to be zero and 1575 because that's the length from the ground to the top of the arc. So our vertex is going to be zero, 1575 and we also know that our focus is going to be h comma um, k plus c. So right now what we have, we have our directrix. So in order to find c, we're going to have to, um, y equals 1650, and then, or er, sorry, that's wrong. We have y equals k minus c. So we know that y is 1650. k is 1575. Minus c. 
not six. Sorry. C. And then subtract and do all the mumbo jumbo algebra. And you get C equals negative 75. So, to add that back in, the focus would be, you would add negative 75 to <clears throat> to K, and that would give you 0, 1500. So let's draw that focus in as well. Sorry, this is kind of off. This is here. This is here. Um, and then we also know that these two are points because they're given to us around our parabola. So here's our parabola. Um, also, the domain and range. The domain's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range is going to be negative infinity to 1575. And with all that, our equation comes out to be y equals negative 1 over 300 x squared plus 1575. Um, also, I forgot to mention a big part of this is that um, the y-axis is our major axis, so instead of using the x equals equation, we're using the y equals equation. And there's the answer.